Hey what's up guys Chinmay and today I'm going to show you how to flash fly me OS on your Moto G 2015 the ROM is developed by Unwish Presser so head over to the links in the description the first link will take you to the XDA forum here so select the latest one and I guess by the time I upload the video the V3 will be available here so head over to that link and download the file next thing is go to super issue page and download the super issue file to enable root access on the ROM the third link will take you to this page. You select the GApps 5.1.1 Pico package and again download it as I said earlier. So once everything is downloaded, put everything in your internal or external SD card. I prefer external SD card as will be wiping up the internal storage completely. So once everything is in your phone, just go ahead and reboot your phone into recovery mode. So once rebooted into recovery mode, I would recommend you to do an Android backup and store it in your SD card. Then go ahead and hit wipe and you can either swipe to wipe or you can just go ahead and do an advanced wipe which clears each and everything from your internal storage just like me. Once that is complete, go back all the way back and now select install. Navigate to the folder where you saved the files. So for the first time we'll flash only the flyme OS file and that's the only one which we have selected. Once completed hit wipe cache and dalvik cache, swipe and now reboot your phone. It may take long time and just be patient until it happens. So once the device is booted just select the language of your choice and then just go ahead and skip everything else. So once the device is booted go ahead and shut down your phone and reboot into fast boot mode and for doing that you need to hold down the volume down button and the power button together. Now hit volume down and select recovery mode by pressing the power button. Once entered in TWRP, hit install and navigate again to the folder where you saved the file and this time flash the gapps file and the super SU file. So just go ahead and swipe to flash. After that again hit wipe cache and dalvik cache. And once that is done, just reboot your phone. And during this time, it may take some time and it may reboot two or three times again and again in between, but don't panic, it is completely normal. Just give it some time. And once after waiting for around 200 years, you will see the home screen. And as you can see, there are some bugs in the beginning, but don't worry, this is just one and only time. And once the boot is finished, you will be greeted by a home screen and you will see the google apps you can download the apps from the play store now and carry on with the rom as a daily driver and i guess that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you find this video helpful if you found this video helpful please go ahead and hit that like button and mention your queries and suggestions in the comment section below also don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can see more cool stuff which is yet to come until then see you next time